near the 905 freeway and there's a prison right here and I just want to reach out to any of the prisoners here and say to you, repent and be baptized for the kingdom of heaven is near. I come in the name of the Lord. It's a message for all people, prisoners included. A lot of prisoners already have become Christians. And that's great. And I want to encourage you to keep growing in Christ. Some of you have not accepted Christ. And I just really want to let you know that the time is now. Don't wait until it's too late. And I'm not just saying that you're you need to repent because you're you're a big bad prisoner. Some of you aren't that big, not that bad. Some of you have been falsely convicted even. You might be in there for the wrong reason or for no reason at all. False conviction, that's really sad. If that's the case, I really uh, want to just let you know how much I uh, sympathize with your case. But even if you're falsely convicted, you're still a sinner. We are, we're all sinners. Prisoners, non-prisoners, even really good citizens are sinners. That's why sometimes it's harder for uh, so-called good citizens to uh, to feel like they're sinners and that they need Jesus, or even for wealthy people especially, because they can pay their way to stay above the law, and they can pay their way to get almost everything they want and need, so they don't really have a, need, a feeling of needing anybody else, including God. But I'm talking to the prisoners now. I just want to let you know that God loves you and He really wants you to believe in Him so that you can be saved. And not that you're going to earn your way to salvation. You can't. Nobody can. So uh, even if you're a really hardened criminal, you did a lot of big, bad things, if you can sincerely repent and you really actually truly feel sorry for what you've done, God can forgive you. He allowed, his, he allowed His Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to die on the cross for us, to celebrate at Easter. So if you're ready to say, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins, thank you for dying to save me, I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Here at the prison in San Diego by the 905 and... 905 and 805 is it? I don't know. Really don't know this area. I just saw a sign that said prison. Shula Vista, I guess. And, and if you said yes, then I baptize you and you are now a Christian. Congratulations. That's the biggest, most important decision of your life. And there's a lot to talk about to tell you about but I can't do it all right here and now so make sure you read the box below I hope you get internet in prison you can watch this on YouTube or maybe a family member can pass it on and hope the chaplains come in there and and give you Bibles and everything but if not then uh, message me I'll send you a free Bible and I'll be praying for you God be with you and bless you Lord we pray for any any of the prisoners here in San Diego, be with them, guide them, lead them, open their hearts, soften their minds, to allow them to repent and humble themselves to accept you as their Savior, knowing they cannot do it alone. And that they believe in you and follow you for the rest of their lives and tell others the good news. We pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.